What's up guys? So it's Christmas time here in Auto Shop Life. My Snap-on man just left, dropped off uh, a couple Christmas presents for me. I also picked up a few other little odds and end tools that I was going to get off them. Um, I'll still see them again next week, but just wanted to show you guys this real quick. So I grabbed a set of the uh, ultra shallow swivel impacts for the 3H drive, part number 207 RIP FM. That goes along with the, uh, with the other set I got, the regular ones, these. And then I got the, uh, the PWZ2, and then I got the TPMS tool that I was talking about just lets the air out of the valves on those metal ones they get kind of corroded you'll break them I like to use these and then here we go Merry Christmas to JRC 54 we got box number one we got the SSX17P147XL got the heated hoodie snap-on there's a little charger it comes with the portable power pack I know you can char charge your phone off these and pretty awesome awesomeness comes with instructions here's the jacket I got it in an XL you can see snap-on badge there's a little on off switch definitely nice gift and then he also gifted me It looks like the uh, the jacket too, so I got them both. I asked them one or the other, but uh, hey, great for me. He got both of them for me, which is awesome. And then here's the heated jacket, part number SSX16P131XL. XL is obviously the size. And here's the heated jacket. All right, guys. So I just wanted to dive down a little closer on these things. I got the hoodie opened and uh, feeling the material it's uh, definitely nice you can tell it's built well it's pretty uh, pretty thick it looks like uh, cotton and then the interior part is uh, like the thermal polyester so pretty decent I've been wearing it around kind of getting it just for the battery and all that stuff I'll tell you one thing the battery you know don't expect the battery to last all day you know they want you uh, these things out of the package come about uh, maybe a quarter of the way charged and they want you to charge these things for seven hours so maybe if you know if you're wearing these things all day maybe get a couple backup batteries um, but they come about you know 25 to 29 percent um, I got one sitting over there on charge I got it at hundred percent from the jacket box but uh, definitely nice probably a couple 18650 batteries in here probably three of them in here it's got the uh, output for your phone uh, two outputs for the phone, one at 5 volts, 1 amp, and then 5 volts, 2.1 amp, so, you, you know, phone, tablet, whatever, what have you. And then you got the uh, 5 volt in, this middle one's to charge it. It does come with a little short, maybe 3 inch charger wire. And then this one here plugs in, this is the 12 volt out, um, 2 amp, this goes to the jacket. So if you look at the hoodie here, uh, got all the warning tags on there and all that stuff. Um, risk of electrical fire user must read and follow instruction manual do not wear jacket if lining is wet so they don't want you to wear it wet or allow to touch the bare skin with the heating elements remove battery pack and controller before washing and I'm guessing the washing on it um, I haven't read it but I'm guessing it's just uh, you know regular wash light uh, in the washer and then just a light dry or maybe even uh, hang to dry on this one but you can feel the heater elements all in the jacket real big one here where the buttons are down in the back uh, it's got ones in the front for the hand warmers you could feel 
and then you can tell there's one on the back here. You feel some wiring. I notice underneath underneath the arms don't get too hot, but definitely up by the back, and then down below too, the sides. So when you're wearing it, you'll feel warmth at the top by your neck area and upper back, definitely in the front by your hands, and I mean that's pretty much it. There's really no heater element down under uh, by your lower back or anything like that. Maybe in the front a little bit. Um, you're mostly just feeling if you got the hand warmer on you'll feel that so and then it's also got a tag on the front let's see if this shows how to wash it let's see so we got outer shell is 53 percent cotton 47 percent polyester and then the inner is 60 percent cotton 40 polyester so yeah pretty much thermal material got the part number here what else do we got their language not to be removed till delivered to consumer as labor is a fix so don't take the tag off or you'll go to jail yeah 53 and 60 polyester but nice jacket I mean these things Milwaukee makes these things too um, but obviously they say Milwaukee on it they don't say snap on there's not if you guys are looking into getting these things there's not too much of a markup on them um, I don't think I don't think uh, Snap-ons, you know, the franchisees are allowed to mark them up too much because, uh, based off the part number. There's not too much of a markup on these, if any at all. But it's a decent little jacket. Like I said, I wore it around. It does keep you warm. The hand warmer works really great, at least on the hoodie. I haven't opened that. We're going we're gonna to do an unboxing on the jacket real quick, other than pulling out the battery in there. But it's a nice jacket. And then you can see definitely a good solid zipper. Got the Snap-on logo on the uh, little tassel hanging off of there. And then here's where you put the uh, the battery. You got the uh, you know when you got it on, it'll be on your left lower backside is where you'll house the battery. They got a little Velcro on here with a little wire that goes into the jacket here. I mean, definitely well built. Um, you, I've seen these hoodies with uh, with kind of the same setup with earbuds that come out. Um, so that's kind of how they did it. They ran the heater element in there and then just dropped out the power and then it's got a little it's two little pockets one pocket here and then one little inner smaller pocket to hold the uh, the battery so pretty much you go to set it up pretty much you want to plug it in and then there's a little button here an indicator button on the side if these things sit off for a while you won't be able to turn them on you'll have to hit that little button to wake the battery pack up then you can turn the jacket on Get that down in there. Fits real nice and snug in there. And then just close off the pocket so she's ready to roll. Nice uh, hoodie tightener with the knot. It's got the metal metal end on it. It's not plastic, at least for the snap-on one. So, but nice jacket, guys. I like it. And then you got, you got a couple settings here. Um, you got on, hold it on. And it flashes that's on then you got high I don't know if you guys can see that it's red that's that's high heat you got medium heat and then low heat blue is not AC I told someone it's got AC in there and they believe me so you got on that's high medium and low so the low you know you'll barely feel um, at least how cold it gets around here you don't barely feel it it don't even have a chance to get warm when you're wearing it outside but then you could choose choose just to have just a actual heater element on on the normal hoodie or you could have just a hand warmer on and then to turn it off you just hold them on that hold it for a few seconds and that turns them off so that's the hoodie let's it open up this jacket all right guys so here's the jacket that's the part number So this one comes with instructions just like the hoodie, battery just like the hoodie, um, pretty much tells you uh, all the dangers of obviously wearing this, things like that, risk of shock, catching fire, everything else. Kind of curious about the washing. You would think that would be on the tag because it's not like you're going to keep these forever. So another thing with the, with the battery pack too guys, 
So you got your the charge indicator. It tells you if it's charging or discharging and what percentage is. Obviously the phone charger and all that. Um, and then you got the battery indicator button back here, little battery symbol on here. And if you double tap it, it's got a little flashlight on here too. Maybe to see it get plugged in if you're if it's in a dark area. But got a nice little flashlight option on here too. I like these battery packs. I, I mean it's it's a lot better by the Milwaukee heated jackets that you actually got to walk around with an M12 battery in there and all that. Uh, this one and you barely feel it when it's when it's back there and on you got it on you're wearing it you barely feel it with the compact design it's uh you know just like ha having something in your pocket or something like that where they put it so here's the jacket get this thing ripped open feels like a uh more like a like a raincoat, um, definitely got like a uh, like a rubbery feel. Pretty much same thing on this. Here's the uh, controller on off buttons and all that. Looks like it's got a pocket in the front. That's the jacket. Sleeves are pretty nice. Got Velcro on the sleeves, so you can tighten them up. Get your glove on and seal it off so wind and snow and ice can't get through there comes with a removable hoodie it's not on there little zip on hoodie pretty decent I mean like I said it's got like a uh, like a softer back to it open this bad boy up it's got a couple pockets on the inside Something for your uh, uh, your vape or flashlight, what have you. It's got a little uh, strap here. Clip your light to and things like that. This one's made from 95% uh, polyester and spandex. That's kind of what the inner part of the hoodie felt like. Was was like a spandex material. Uh, and then the lining or the filling is 100% poly polyester and the lining is 100% polyester. So, and then the bottom's also got something you could tighten up. Pretty nice though. Looks like, uh, looks like definitely, uh, definitely will last. Definitely good quality. And it looks like the battery, they uh, have it on the outside of the jacket. So, so I guess when you're wearing it, the battery's gonna be on the opposite side, the right rear, and it's on the outer portion of the jacket with a longer wire. So, that's that and then it's got a little it's a elastic it's got a little elastic strap here so pretty much plug it in and uh, pop it in the pocket with the super long cord that's probably so you're not straining your back trying to reach back here to uh, get the battery out so and actually looking at this guys the back of this jacket it looks like you could carry the batteries on both of sides so I notice that it's on the rear left side and rear right side does it have a plug on this side too so yeah so look at that guys you got an option for both sides you could carry a battery so you could you could buy an extra battery for this thing and uh, and carry one on both sides so that, that way you uh, double the time, the run time on these things. Um, doesn't really double the output or anything like that, but that way you're not constantly switching batteries. You can have two on there, maybe it lasts you all day on the job site or all day wearing it. So that's pretty cool. Just notice that when I flipped it over, it does have two, but that's what you get for not reading the instructions. The hoodie only has one, but the jacket has two, which is pretty cool. I like that, but got the snap-on logo on the front cuff of the sleeve both sides it's a tag and then a snap-on logo in the back upper back part and then here's where the zipper where you zipper the hoodie so definitely seems nice um, you know as far as as far as being thick I mean you know without the heater element on is this going to keep you warm, at least in my area? Probably not. 
um, but you know winters are so uh, so you know cold around here it's you know they, they disrespect any jacket you really put on um, unless it's like a super thick down jacket or something like that and you got two of them on but other than that it'll, it'll keep the wind out it seems like it's well made we'll see how these things hold up so yeah guys if you guys thinking about getting those heater jackets just wanted to dive down closer kind of give you guys a closer look at them if you guys are thinking about getting them for yourselves I mean decent jacket I'm for the price at least that I see on the invoice like I said there's not too much of a markup on those things your snap-on dealer shouldn't be marking them up too much um, you know I don't think there's a warranty or anything like that you may get a little warranty on the battery pack not much you know don't ask for much when it comes to stuff like that but uh, I want to say the hoodie is like uh, maybe 120 or 130 and then the jacket I want to say is like 150 or something like that you'd have to check your area and all that I know you guys down south don't really even need a heating jacket but you know us guys up here in the Rust Belt and up north you know it's uh it gets pretty cold you know it's not like I'm wearing this thing in the shop walking around with it but it's nice you know heading outside having it warmed up checking on a car in the parking lot or just wearing it on the weekends and things like that it's pretty nice so let me know what you guys think if you guys own these jackets already um, I, I like them like I said I, I've been wearing a hoodie for a few days I wanted to get a hands-on before I did uh, you know made this video on it but it definitely seems nice I like the jacket how it's got the dual the dual battery packs I'll definitely be looking into getting another battery but you could uh, hold two. yes that's gonna weigh you down and all that stuff but you know it's not like uh, it's not like I'm wearing these jackets because they're light you know around here you need these heavy jackets you need those you need those jackets that weigh you down or else you're gonna freeze out there it gets pretty darn cold these winters so also let me know in the comments guys if you guys want to see me do maybe a resto mod and any of these air tools um, I'm probably gonna get these things out and just clean them up clean all the, the gunk and dust and the crap off of them see what I'm working with and all that maybe plug them in see if any of the motors even still move um, but like I said I'll be doing maybe a resto mod doing some a couple of these on the giveaway guys be looking out for that um, leave me a like leave me a comment you guys uh, interested in maybe uh, winning uh, some of the old-school air tools let me don't know down in the comment section as always guys like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next one signing out